Hey, you guys. Yo, it's literally me today. I'm funny. Sometimes I buy stuff, sometimes I say stuff, sometimes I do stuff. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Listen, I know I look terrible right now. <laughs> It is Sunday when I'm filming this. I did not think that I was going to record a video and I did not think I was gonna to have to leave the house, but I ended up having to run to the store. So I like pulled my hair back, threw on a sweatshirt, like did whatever this is. I know I look terrible, but I figured since I was half made up, <laughs> I could get this video done because I have been meaning to show off these things for a minute and I do need to change my nails and this is going to be a video on the company Maniology. They reached out to me via email and asked if I would be interested in showing off like a kit that they have that people can purchase and do their own nail art. I asked for some terms and conditions first, and what I really liked about them was they said you could be completely creative with the video. Like they did not have any kind of things that you had to say or you had to be positive about the product or anything like that. They were very open with your content is your content and we want you to be creative and the whole point of their company is for just everyone to express their creativity. So I really did like that about it. So of course I said, yes, I would be glad to do a video for you. I actually did a short and I uh, TikTok or whatever on just like a little kind of demonstration on the nail stamping process, but I'm going to do a full length and I'm okay with looking like this right now because most of this is going to be a hands video. I do have this Dashing Diva black set on and I need to change them out because they are a little over two weeks old. And this process is a little kind of like a learning curve for people. So I figured let's go ahead and just play with it. And then if I ruin them, I'm taking these off anyway. So that's where we're landing right now. So let me just show you real quick some of the items that they did send me over. First of all, they said that you could pick your own starter kit. So the starter kit comes with one of the plates that you're going to use in order to stamp the designs. They have a ton of designs and I ended up picking the one called Fringe Forever, which is kind of like a little bit of a boho type deal thing. And I liked it because the patterns on it, I could kind of use between boho and goth. So depending on what kind of color colors you use or how you use it. I picked that one uh, to, as my starter kit. The starter kit does come with the stamp plate and it also comes with the little squeegee in order to apply the polish. It does come with a little set of the colored polish and the top coat and then your stamper. So this is like really, really cute. They're actually pretty affordable. And then they allowed me to pick out two other plates, which in the hands mode, we'll get to look at a little bit closer but I did end up picking out that bite me one which has kind of like a bunch of like coffins and bats and stuff and then the other one I picked out has like moons and kind of like some new AG prints on them. So I did get to pick those two. They also so generously said that I could pick out a polish set. So here is the polish set that I picked out. I think it was called basic primary colors or something. I just wanted something like real basic because I haven't tried this process before and I just wanted, you know, not all the fancy glitters and stuff, but look, it comes with like a whole bunch of colors in here so i got the white and the black which were the two that i was really looking for but it also came with a silver a gold a blue and a red so very very interesting i think that these are specially curated for the stamping process i do not believe that you could use regular nail polish for the stamping process these are also very affordable and they have a huge a range of colors so i'm going to leave all the information down in the description box I am an ambassador for them, so I may make a slight kickback if anybody uses the links to purchase. And if you do that, thank you. There's no need. You can search the Maniology site on your own if you are interested. But anything you do to support the channel, I really appreciate it. I love you guys so much. 
Some bonus things that they threw in that I did not pick out, which were really, really cute, where they did send me a little container of the base coat, which I haven't used yet because I use the Dashing Diva nails. I think that if you had regular nail polish on, you would probably put this down first. They did send a little, look how cute this is. This is like a little cleanup pen. So it's just a brush so that you can dip it in some acetone and clean around the edges after you're stamping. So that was really uh, nice to have. And then this thing, so cute. This is actually a cotton ball grabber. And you can see I used it already, but you just press down on this pineapple and these little things come out so that you can grab a cotton ball, like without having to ruin the paint that you put on your nail. I just thought this was so cute. And it comes in so handy because I can pick up a cotton ball, put it in some acetone and then clean the plate off. It feels like so cute. I, I love this. But anyway, let's see how I do with actually applying some of these patterns on my nails. Again, I did that short and it was a little bit of practice. So this is kind of like the first time that I'm diving into an actual nail pattern. I'm gonna put you guys in hands mode and we're gonna check it out. All right, guys, here's my sausagey little fingers. You know I love it. I think today we're just gonna play around with the white, of course, and I think I'm gonna try the silver. Again, if I mess these up, these nails are coming off soon, so this is the perfect time to play. And I am gonna use the Fringe Forever starter plate. So if you can see, this is kind of like engraved little patterns on the plate. And I'll give you a closer up of the other ones that I got. So this one is the Bite Me, and it comes with all these cute little kind of gothy patterns on it. I'm sorry, you can see my phone. And then here is the other one. I cannot remember what this one is, but I will definitely link it down below. But yeah, these ones have some crystals and some moons and some patterns, so super cute. But we are going to play with the Fringe Forever today. Just to start out, I'm gonna put a little bit of nail polish remover just right here in case I need to dip into it to uh, fix anything. We're gonna take the little thing and put that right there because we wanna make sure we've got all the stuff that they provided. How this works is you apply a little bit of polish onto the pattern that you want, and then you take this scraper and you scrape it off, and then the polish kind of sits in those engraving things. And then you take this little stamper, and it's kind of like a really soft jelly rubber, and you're gonna roll it across and then roll it onto your nail. So. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but it actually does work. It just takes some practice. So just FYI, if you're into something like this, it might take some practice. So we're gonna obviously do my left hand since I can use my right hand. I think the first one I wanna do is this little like sunburst here, and I wanna see if I can get it to come out of my middle nail. So that's what we're going to try. So I'm gonna take some of this white polish. It's actually called Bam White. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna paint over that particular pattern. Just get it a nice good coat. You kinda have to work pretty quickly here. And then I'm gonna take the squeegee and I'm gonna run it across and you see how that kind of makes a little bit of a indent on there. And then you're gonna take the stamper and you're gonna roll it across and see it's gonna transfer onto there. And then, oh God, here we go. Line it up and then I'm just gonna roll it across my nail. Oh. Okay, I almost got it. <laughs> it's a little bit dried, but that's okay because that happened to my other one. But look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. Okay, that actually worked pretty well. So now I'm gonna take my little cotton ball grabber. I'm gonna dip it into the nail polish remover and I'm just gonna wipe off the plate like that. And then I'm gonna clean the rest off of the, oh, that didn't work. I'm gonna clean the rest off of the stamper thing. <laughs> Thank you for sitting through this, guys. I mean, this is all just a very experimental. Now, another thing is like, I usually take a cotton ball and kind of clean off the spatula because you know, you got that extra polish on there and you just wanna make sure that it's all clean. So yeah, let's try another one. Why don't we, huh? Let's do something on the ring finger. How about, uh, let's see, how about this like pretty little damask pattern thing? Let's try the silver on that one. I'm gonna shake this up, make sure we got a good base here. 
just going to paint over that. This is obviously going to be too big for my entire nail, but we're just going to give it a shot. Get, get a good coat on there. And then quickly move with the spatula. That silver actually looks pretty pretty. All right, then I'm gonna take the roller, stamp it. So there's my pattern. And then I'm gonna just go right across the nail. Okay, so because I did that whole pattern on there, this is where the little bit of cleanup comes in. So I'm just gonna dip the brush into the acetone and I'm just gonna rub that around the edges like that. It's kind of leaving like a little bit of a, a silvery hue on me, but you know, this is all just learning. I'm sure the more acetone you use, the more that it comes off, but you see that? Look, that actually came out kind of cute. That silver is actually really pretty. I like that a lot. All right, I'm gonna take my cotton ball and wipe off my stamper and the plates. They clean up pretty easily, so no complaints there. Oh, I do, I like this, I like this. Okay, let's do one more on my pointer finger, and then let's do this really tiny little thing right here. It's like a little kind of embellishment right there. I'm gonna see if I can get that one on there. So do we wanna just keep going with the white and the silver, or do we wanna try another color? Let's try the gold, since the silver was so pretty. Let's go ahead with the gold. This one's called Heart of Gold. This is so fun. I haven't been able to like play with this yet, so very interesting. All right, so I'm just gonna paint a little bit on that embellishment. I'm gonna take the squeegee. Oh, that one like came out pretty perfect. All right, then we're gonna take our little stamper there and let's see if I can line it up, stamp it on. You're like supposed to do a rolling motion. Oh, how cute is that? Oh my gosh, so freaking adorable. Oh, I love that. Okay, that came out so cute. Okay, wow, this has actually turned out to be pretty interesting. <laughs> wow, guys, I'm having such a good time with this. This is so cute. How about we try my other hand? <laughs> See if I can do it with my left hand just to like kind of even these out a little bit because they are looking really, really cute. I just learned that I cannot get acetone on my um, rubber mat here. So <laughs> that's kind of sad. I love this mat too. Maybe I have to get a new one. All right, I'm gonna try and do this mandala shape on my other nail and see if we can get that one to go. Let's see here. So I'm gonna go back in with the white and apply some right here this is actually really really cute i thought this was going to be a lot more difficult but it's actually coming out pretty well all right there's the mandala and then we're going to take our stamper and roll it and so there is the shape and then i kind of like see through and line up the nail this isn't going to ah uh, whoops this isn't gonna fit totally, but, oh, there, that's, okay. This is so cute, oh my gosh, okay. Yep, that definitely worked. I like that one a lot too. Let's clean up the plate a little bit more. See this pineapple thing, so handy to clean up the plates and get the additional polish off of everything. I think this is probably like the best invention ever. Okay, we're getting some, these are so cute. Like I can't. Um, all right, I'm gonna try this one right here. Let's go ahead and put the gold on here. I'm so sorry that this video is like running kind of long for this demonstration, but I'm actually having such a good time. I just wanna keep playing with it. So let's put that gold on there. And we're gonna squeegee it off. 
take the roller. So there is the pattern. And then I'm just gonna, I think I wanna go this way. I'm trying to do it quickly. Okay, line it up. Boom! Oh my gosh, look how cute! Ah, oh, this is, this is, this is cute. Okay, I'm into it. I'm into it. Let's go ahead and do one more just to round out this hand and then I will shut the hell up. What do we wanna do on this pointer finger here? How about this stripe thing? Let's try this like stripe thing. I don't know. All right, let's give it a shot. I'm gonna put some silver on there. Don't know how this one's gonna work out, but you know, we can always give it a try. I'm only gonna do like a bit of it because I don't think that that is going to fit my whole pointer finger. So scrape that off. Get the little rolly thing. All right. Line it up. Okay, I didn't center that one too well, but it did come out. So that's really, really cute. I could have done a better job of that. But you know, first try or whatever. Guys, I think, I think this is really cute. I really do think this is cute. Um, Let me go ahead and put the top coat on there now. Now in the kit, you do get a color. I think all the colors are different for which kit you buy, but it does come with this top coat. And I believe this top coat is something kind of special that kind of locks in that special polish for the stamping technique. Uh, I did use it in that shorts video and it let that coffin stay on there for like a really long time. I'm assuming you can use this over any other regular nail polish or manicure that you have. Uh, don't know exactly. It just glides over your little pattern that you made with the stamping kit. Guys, this gold and black, like I'm kind of into it. <laughs> kind of into it. Anyway, so that is the top coat. It just comes in a little pair. So really when you buy one of the starter kits, you have everything that you need because you do have a color that you can use on the plate. You have your top coats and then you come with the stamper and the spatula. So that is a good starting point. If you guys are interested in something like this is to just order one of the kits. I think they're like around 20 bucks or something like that, like super affordable. But again, I'll link all of that down below. I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff away and then we're gonna come back and finish this little thing up and we're back to not great face <laughs> guys I really think that those came out really really cute like I honestly when I was like okay it's Sunday we're just gonna do a casual video or whatever I was like hey I'm gonna mess up on these and it's totally fine but like honestly they all except for this one that I didn't line up to you know well they came out really really cute like I'm kind of really shocked at like, and I was able to do my right hand easily with my left hand, which I also was kind of like anticipating being like not really great. <laughs> but I really do think that they came out really cute. Like that boho pattern thing is really cute. And um, yeah, they have like a ton of different ones. And now that I'm thinking about it, their holiday sets would probably be really awesome this time of year. You could give yourself like a red manicure and put little embellishments on. And like, you don't have to go to the salon. You can change them out as much as you want. I just like, I'm kind of floored by it. Like I'm kind of floored by it. Thank you so much, Maniology, for like sending this my way. I always saw it online and I was kind of like, oh, I don't know if I'm like that coordinated to do it, but you saw it. it was actually pretty freaking easy. And like, they're just so cute. Like I love this. I especially love something like this. If you do like a plain manicure and you just do like a special nail, I'm like really into that. But like, I, I love this. I'm probably definitely gonna get some more plates that have different embellishments on them so that I can do more things. But like, yeah, dude, this was 
This was actually a good time. <laughs> Thank you so much for like sitting through that with me and just like casually like hanging out and like watching this. Again, I'm gonna link everything down in the description box if you are interested. I am affiliated with the company. No pressure, but if you wanna check them out, they're really, really affordable and the people are super, super nice. Like they have just been absolutely amazing. The emails have been like so friendly, just so, so nice. I love that since the company is based in Hawaii, they're always like, Aloha or mahalo. It's like, it's just so cute. I've had a really positive experience and I love these nails, though I really can't say anything bad at the moment. <laughs> if you could please like this video, it really does help me out. Comment down below if you thought that these came out pretty neat or if it's like a pretty neat idea. I'm, again, kind of shocked. And if you could subscribe to follow all my antics, that would be the awesomest. I, I try not to touch my, I love you guys so much. I will see you on the next one.